The Eagles are set to release the 40th anniversary at last of Hotel California. I'm John Bowden from RockyStreamMusic.com. You know what? I was almost expecting that this was not going to happen. Hotel California was released on December 8th, 1976. I remember the day it was released. It was a big deal for anyone growing up in the 70s. Now, the special edition is going to be released on November 24th, just kind of under the wire. This coming December 8th, keep in mind that it'll be 37 years since John Lennon passed away. It'll be 41 years since Hotel California was released. That's how close they are to missing the anniversary. Drummer and lead vocalist for the band Don Henley told the LA Times, we're fudging it a little bit. Hotel California was number one on the Billboard charts for eight weeks. It remained on that chart for 107 weeks. But interestingly, it wasn't the biggest selling album of 1977. That title goes to Fleetwood Mac's Rumors, which sold 40 million copies. Hotel California sold 32. As big reissues go, there are many versions of Hotel California that you can buy, from the single remastered CD, which is only $9.99, and then it goes way up to a huge Hotel California 40th Anniversary Deluxe Edition, which includes a live set recorded a couple of months before the release of the album in 1976. That's from the form in LA, plus a 5.1 Blu-ray of that album and a DVD. Exclusive t-shirts, keychains, 44-page booklet, that's all for $139. You can actually pre-order on their website right now. The first single from Hotel California was New Kid in Town, sung by Glenn Fry, who we lost at 67 on January 18th, 2016. It entered the Billboard charts on December 18th, 1976, and it peaked at number one. The title tune was next, debuting on the Billboard charts on February 26th, 1977. It was sung by Don Henley, and it peaked at number one. It's considered their biggest and most memorable hit. Former guitarist Don Felder came up with the guitar hook, and lots of people like to debate on how much he contributed to the song. We think quite a bit. The third hit was another one featuring Henley on lead vocals, Life in the Fast Lane, and that one peaked at number 11. Interestingly, only two guys are still with the band from the Hotel California era, Don Henley and guitarist Joe Walsh. The first one to leave was Randy Meisner. By the way, we've got an eight-part interview series of our exclusive chat with Randy Meisner on this very channel. Check it out. There'll be links in the description of this video. Meisner left at the end of the Hotel California tour in 1977. He was replaced by Timothy B. Schmidt, and then the band broke up from 1980 to 1994. Don Felder left in 2001. As mentioned, Glenn Fry died in 2016. And just this year, some new members into the fold. Vince Gill, a country rock superstar, and Glenn Fry's son, singer-songwriter Deacon Fry. They were at the classic music festivals with the band. And if you go into their website, you'll see they have a few shows set for North Carolina, Georgia, Kentucky, and Michigan this year. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention Bernie Ledden, their original guitarist. He was not on Hotel California. He left after the album before that, which was one of these nights. That one was released in 75. He rejoined the band for the History of the Eagles tour between 2013 and 14. You know, everyone growing up in the 70s has a particular memory of Hotel California. The day it was released was a big deal with all our friends. Not all of us could afford to buy the album, so the ones that did recorded cassette versions for us so we'd all have it at home. It was a big deal. And growing up at that time, I was a huge Eagles fan. And to this day, I can't decide who I like better, Fleetwood Mac or the Eagles. It always goes back and forth. Props to both of them. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. We've got the history of rock and roll and our older videos. Check them out. There's lots of great music news. And as mentioned, we've got an eight-part Randy Meisner exclusive interview on this channel. You can check it out. There'll be links in the description of this video. I'm John Bowden. Take care of yourself. This is Rock History Music.